Hello, fellow brawlers. I'm Carlos Simon. It is time to brawl, and it's also time to talk about the championship challenge happening this weekend and how you guys are going to get some easy wins. Now, I know that I failed a little bit on the last couple of challenges. It just so happened to happen right in the middle of like when life was crazy for me, so I couldn't get it to you. Luckily, Lex was able to have my back and put out some awesome videos over on his channel. But today, we're going over the best tips on each of the maps so you can grab those 15 wins. As always, this is brought in collaboration with BrawlStats.com. They sent me the win rates. They sent me the use rates for all of the players playing over 700 trophies for these specific maps. So we know the absolute best brawlers for the maps based off of thousands and thousands of matches. Let's start off with Minecart Madness. There's gonna be a few different changes to this video in comparison to the previous videos where we're actually gonna be going over the three best brawlers for the map, as well as how you're actually going to want to be playing them. First off, let's start off with the lowest pick rate for the competitive players, which was actually Jackie. She only has a normal pick rate, but she actually had a rather high win rate. So I wanted to definitely include her with her hardy hard hat star power. Now we got Bo, and I actually decided to go with the snare bear star power because there's not a whole lot of bushes, then most of the time you're gonna actually know where the enemies are. Next up, we got BB with either star power. Honestly, it's gonna depend on your own personal preference. I really like her home run star power that's gonna give her that additional speed. Now up next, we got Rosa with her plant live star power, a high pick rate, as well as a really high win rate as well, above 700 trophies. You know she's gonna be very reliable. Obviously, you're gonna be putting Rosa right here and you're gonna try and use this bush as well as these other couple of bushes to try and keep the enemy team pushed back. Sometimes there's gonna be times when you're gonna wanna come over here as Rosa but you want to stay by those bushes so she can actually stay alive. Next is one of the brawlers that I would recommend for this. Not only did Sandy have a high win rate, but look at that 60.9% win rate with that rude sand star power. Now the star powers aren't actually based off of the stats, but these are the most recommended ones that you're going to want to do with this. Sandy's so great at controlling that middle. Now Sandy's not typically a gem carrier, so Sandy's either going to want to go on the left side or over on the right side. Next is the second brawler that I would highly recommend including in your roster is Penny, 53.4% win rate, but a very high pick rate. And I would definitely recommend going with the Balls of Fire star power. Now, Penny can be played as a mid brawler where you can actually have that full access right down the lane and be able to charge up your super. People tend to bunch up a lot on this map. And we're gonna actually replace Rosa with Sandy over here. And then of course the trick is with Penny, you wanna place your turret right over in this exact tile or possibly over in this bush right here, depending on whether or not um, you have control of this area. If you do have control of this area and the enemy team does not have a thrower that's gonna have easy access to a turret right here, that's just gonna make it so easy for you guys to grab that win. Now up next, we got Poco with the Capo star power. If you do wanna go Poco with some tankier options like Rosa or Jackie or BB, or even possibly Mortis, then Poco is incredibly good at helping to keep his team alive going down that center lane. Now, if you are playing Mortis, your entire goal is to be like an anti-thrower type brawler, right? You wanna take the place over of Sandy over here, making sure that the enemy throwers don't have any way that they're gonna be able to attack your teammates. Reminder, you're not a gem carrier, you're just there to try and pester those throwers and possibly even grab some gems if you do get a kill. Lastly, we do have the one that I would recommend here, a very, very high pick rate with a 55.3% win rate, that is very solid. Gene with his magic puffs star power. Now both Penny and Gene can be played in the middle as a primary gem carrier. The reason why I have Gene over off to the side is because there's lots of bushes right here where it's gonna be easy for him to be able to get a pull on an enemy gem carrier. Bring them over to your side and take them out, grab all our gems and get a victory. But Gene can obviously go in the center with Penny off to the side or whatnot. But hopefully that gives you guys a good idea of what you're gonna need to do to get these first three wins. Once you pass those first three wins, you're gonna go into penalty kick for Brawl Ball. Starting off we got sandy with that rude sand star power that is so good for controlling this entire middle area next we got dynamite with demolition star power next we got shelly and you'll notice that both shelly and dynamite although they do have high pick rates they're actually just barely under 50 percent for their win rate so i wouldn't necessarily recommend them unless you really feel like you want to there are better options as a, an anti-tank brawler for shelly and i also think there are better options for just controlling the field than dynamite for example nita with her hyper bear star power 55 percent win rate is incredibly good. You use that star power with the gadget and that just makes for easy kills and also to make it really easy for Nita to recharge her super. Now next we got Jackie with her hardy hard hat star power. Highly recommend going with Jackie on your team comp. Now obviously Brawl Ball isn't like a left center right lane type of a situation. So where you play her
her is actually gonna depend on what you're doing, but the nice thing about her is that she can hug these walls right here, which allows her to not only deal damage, but also prevents enemies from coming around and escaping, which then will allow you to push them into one little corner where you can take them out. Next, we got BB with a 52.5% win rate and a very high pick rate. If you really wanna go with her other star power, you could go for the additional shield. However, in Brawl Ball, I absolutely think that her home run star power is the way to go. Next, we got Rico. Either star power could work. The thing with this map is it just is made for Rico. He's got so many opportunities for you to be able to bounce shots in and be, just be able to control, not only on defense to be able to push people back, but also on offense, be able to push them into their area and take them out and get for easy wins. Either star power is going to be good. If you're really high skilled, go with his super bouncy star power. If you're not really high skilled with those bounce shots, then Robo Retreat is also good as well. Next, we got Frank with a 55.5% win rate with that sponge star power. Obviously, Frank is really good, but I do think that the best option to complete the trio for this map is going to be El Primo with his Meteor Rush star power. 53.8% win rate with a very, very high pick rate, and that is super solid. Shout out to the old El Primo icon. Now, after you get those first six wins, you are going to be moving into Heist on Crossroads. For starters, we've got Sprout with his overgrowth star power. Sprout is so incredibly good on this map. He's kind of a cheat. He does have a low pick rate, however, Look at that win rate, 61.4% win rate. That's insane. I think that this is just because Sprout, people have not figured out how good Sprout is for this map yet. For Sprout, this is your area. You wanna come up here, you're gonna use this place. You can throw down a wall right here so that people cannot pass in this area and he's able to attack the safe from a distance. The same is also going on over here, but this means that you have this, you force the enemies to come over here or go all the way around, which makes it really difficult for them to be able to take Sprout out. Next, we got max now she only has a normal pick rate but she's got an insanely high win rate with that run and gun star power she just deals so much damage she's incredibly good just one of those brawlers that isn't played as often as others now we got dynamite with 52.5 percent win rate with that demolition star power it can work i think there are better options but you guys can play him we also have rico with either star power 52.6 percent once again that's going to come down to your own personal preference or comfort with ability to bounce those shots now for first brawler that i would highly recommend including on here is going to be Daryl with his rolling reload star power. He's he's gonna be able to come over here and be able to just roll across this water. It's gonna be so easy for him to be able to gain that access. He can go also go over here as well. In fact, I'm just gonna put Daryl right there. He's gonna be able to play defense over here and here, charge up his super, roll in there, deal damage, and then he'll most likely die. Or he can just fall back, whichever, and that's just fine. Obviously a really solid option right there. Now we got BB, either star power is fine. Just gonna depend on those, that personal preference. I prefer the home run star power. Next, we got Spike with a 55.3% win rate. If you like curveball, you can go with that, but I like fertilize a little bit more. The next brawler that I'm going to highly recommend including on your team is going to be Brock with that incendiary star power. 56.2% win rate with a very, very high pick rate. That is insanely good. And Brock can just come right here. He can hide in this bush and attack the safe from a distance. He can also go over here. It's gonna depend on kind of where the enemy team is going, but I do think that this is a better option for him, whereas the last brawler is going to be Colt. 56.5% win rate, very, very high pick rate, very solid. Magnum Special is the star power choice here. And this is just a setup that can work incredibly well, where Brock's able to fire off from over here, Colt's able to fire off from here. If Daryl needs to do some defense or whatever, he can, but most of the time, he's probably gonna be able to just charge up his super and come in right here and attack from that three-pronged approach. It's gonna make it very difficult for the enemy team to be able to get past you and get to your safe. And that'll help you win up to your ninth win. And after that, we're going to go into Olive Branch, another new new map for Siege. And starting off, we got Gale with a low pick rate. Now, I would not recommend playing Gale as a random, but if you have a specific team comp where you've got Gale, you've got Pam, and you've got like a Bull or an El Primo, somebody that has really high DPS, this is basically cheating. You come right up here, use Gale's gadget, you jump all three of you into this bush right here, so the enemy does not know that you're there. You walk up here, then you use his gadget again, and all three of you jump right at the very beginning of the match without any star powers or supers or anything like that charged up and you all just while the enemy team is here collecting bolts or whatever the three of you are dealing damage to the ike turret and if you do it correctly you can get rid of an ike turret without the help of your bots it is basically cheating and if you guys see that you're facing against a gale make sure you're paying close attention to this strategy you do not want to have it happen gale can either jump into here and here and then go over here or you can go the opposite direction jump over here come up here and then jump in right there either way works so 
be careful. And if you want to try it, you can. It's a little bit risky, but if you can make it work out, I mean, Gale's not very good by himself, but if you do this right, it's it's <laughs> it's basically cheating. <laughs> Next, we got Barley with his extra noxious star power. 56.7% win rate, very solid. I mean, the thing is with the throwers is you're going to be able to go in the right lane or in the left lane. Then we got Frank with his spun star power. Frank is very limited in the center because it makes it difficult for him to be able to hit shots. There's lots of places for enemies to be able to hide from his attacks. So I highly recommend playing Frank on one of the left or the right side. Pam, however, is perfect for that center right here. Her attack has the width to be able to cover this entire area. She can put down a healing station here or right over here or even on the other side of the wall so that it can help a teammate or something like that. She's just really solid. There's a reason why she has a 62.1% win rate with a high pick rate. That's incredibly good. Next, we've got Tick. We've got Dynamite. We've got Sprout. All three of these throwers, I wouldn't actually recommend playing Barley because all three of these guys have a very high pick rate with rather high win rates as well. Now, I know that neither of these three have golden frames, but I would recommend having one of these three on your team, whichever you feel is most comfortable for your play style is going to be just fine. But then on top of that, you are absolutely going to want to have BB. Either star power can work. I prefer home run 54.3% win rate with a very, very high pick rate. That is incredibly good. And of course, the last bra that you're going to make sure you want to have on your team is going to be Penny. Now, BB can go over onto the side or the other side or whatever. Penny is going to be all about going into the center. Then she's going to be able to hide her turret here or turret right here or even in the center lanes right here if you really need to. But however, these two spots tend to be the best or possibly even up here if your uh, right lane person is really far pushed up, that would be fine as well. As a reminder, we've got Penny in the center. We got BB in one side and then you got one of these throwers over on the other side. It doesn't matter whether BB is on the left or the right or the throwers are on the left or the right as long as you guys are on the opposite sides and that Penny is in the center. There are other strategies obviously but this is like the go-to really solid comp that you're going to want to try out. And then after you get that 12th win you will move into Heat Wave for Bounty another new map. And our first brawler here is going to be Jackie. Just a normal pick rate right here but a 58.7% win rate with that hardy hard hat star power is just incredibly solid. Reminder the stats aren't actually for the star powers, but that star power is going to be the one for sure you're going to want to do here. Next, we got Bo. He can work well. He's a good bounty brawler. Plus, he, with that circling eagle star power, he's going to give you a lot of an advantage with this map that has lots of bushes. You have to worry about people coming into this bush over here because it gives them entire access over on this side. And you also have to worry about people coming over here and coming in here. And Bo can just kind of like go over to whichever side you think you're going to be wanting to watch out the most, typically over here so that he can see this area and you guys are going to be able to have eyes over here either way. Next is going to be Tick. I don't actually recommend Tick because Sprout is going to be a lot better of an option for you, but you can play Tick if you really like to. He's super annoying. He takes people off. And then we got Rico, and I would actually prefer the Robo Retreat start power with Rico because in Bounty, what's more important is staying alive than actually getting kills. I know that, that sounds silly, but that's how Bounty works. Focus on staying alive. Robo Retreat's going to be able to do that for you, and that's going to be better for your team. Next, we got Gene, and the Magic Puss is a really solid star power. However, I think that his Spirit Slap is going to be better in this type of situation where on Bounty, you do want to be spread out away from your teammates and you want that additional damage to be able to take people out with a couple of quick burst shots. Now, first brawler that you are absolutely going to want to have on your team is going to be Sprout. 60.8% win rate with a high pick rate. That is so solid. And I highly, 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 absolutely recommend that photosynthesis star power. Sprout is so good when he's in the bushes with that star power because it shields him. And then with his gadget, he's gonna be able to heal up wherever he whenever he needs to and that just reduces an insane amount of damage now for sprout you are going to want to go over and right over here you want to be able to cover this bush area and you don't want to go so far that like you're gonna to have to worry about like a mortis jumping out of you or anything like that you're gonna to want to hang about right here so that you can see enemies trying to enter into the bush right here and you're gonna be able to use this bush to be able to keep yourself alive attacking over here attack over the center and be wherever you need to be you can also go and utilize this area however you'll have a little bit more ability over on this side. Next, we got Piper with the ambush star power. Piper is so incredibly good with this star power because the additional damage, 54.2% win rate with a very high pick rate. That's very solid. Piper's going to be right in the center, firing off shots in the middle. And then once she has her super charged up, she's going to want to come right over here and be able to blow up this wall. So it makes it very difficult for the enemy team to be able to get a foothold on the map. So we got Piper right there. Next, we've got Mortis. Now, Mortis has a very 
very high pick rate, but he only has a 50.8% win rate. And I would recommend playing the Coiled Snake Star power for most players. You can play Mortis if you really want to. He is solid if you know how to play with Mortis. I do think there are better options, but have at it if you really want to. If you're gonna be playing Mortis, you want to go into the enemy bush over on the left side and be able to try and sneak up on people and take them out. But what I do recommend doing is going with Brock. You take Brock and you go into it with Incendiary and the thing is with Incendiary, he's gonna be over on this left side and he's gonna be able to check this bush and that Incendiary is going to protect that area so you know if somebody's going to be crossing that bush. And you got Sprout over here, you got Piper in the middle, Shout out to No Teeth Piper. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then we got Brock over here. And with that, you have everything that you need to know to win this championship challenge. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys have the best of luck in getting those wins. I know you guys are going to because you guys watch this channel and you know, you, you use code Kairos. K-A-I-R. <clears throat> K-A-I-R-O-S Code Kairos in the Brawl Stars shop Just a little bit more proof that you're better than other Brawl Stars players Thank you so much for watching Make sure you subscribe for future videos like this Let me know if you did miss this series the previous couple of times Sorry about that For now this is Kairos I'm ticking by And we will see you in Brawl Stars